PM Modi asserts aggressive testing, containment zones, dissemination of correct information to public key weapons in fight against COVID-19. Home Minister Amit Shah speaks to CMs of cyclone-affected states, relief measures in full swing. Assam CM Himanta Bishwa Sharma visits TMCH, reviews COVID situation in Sonitpur. Arunachal Chief Minister Pema Khandu reviews projects implementation in Arunachal e Pragati meeting. Mizoram Government Lords Centre over supports to tackle COVID 19 situation. A very good evening viewers, welcome to the Notice News Bulletin from the studios of DDK Guwahati. This is Monjui, now the stories in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has asserted that aggressive testing, local containment zones and dissemination of complete and correct information to the public are the key weapons of the country in its fight against the pandemic. He was interacting with field officials from various states and districts today to converse about the experience in handling the pandemic. Modi said, despite themselves being COVID positive many a times, numerous officials kept off serving the people. He added that many officials lost their relatives during the COVID surge, but they chose to continue with their service. Prime Minister asked the district officials to send the innovative ideas of tackling the pandemic pandemic to him so that the successful models can be replicated elsewhere in the country. He said that every part of the country has different sets of problems and therefore needs different solutions. इसे बदलती परिस्थितियों के हिसाब से पॉलिसीज में किसी सुधार की जरूरत लगती है तो उसका भी फीडबैक जरूर पहुंचाइए बिना संकोच पहुंचाइए। खिलाफ इस युद्ध में आप सब लोग एक बहुत महत्वपूर्ण भूमिका में है आप एक तरह से इस युद्ध के फील्ड कमांडर हैं जैसा कि किसी भी युद्ध में होता है फील्ड कमांडर बड़ी योजना को मूर्त रूप देता है Union Home Minister Amit Shah today spoke to the chief ministers of cyclone-affected states of Rajasthan, Maharashtra, Gujarat and administrator of the Union Territory of Dadra and Nagar Haveli to assess the ground situation and effects of the cyclone Takte. He reiterated the center's support in terms of any relief work in the states and the Union Territory. Meanwhile, government has intensified rescue and relief operation in cyclone-affected areas. Six army rescue and relief teams have been activated for the relief operations in Dio. Following the cyclonic storm Takte, the Indian Navy has been conducting search and rescue operations. According to the latest IMD bulletin, the very severe cyclonic storm after crossing Gujarat coast as an extremely severe cyclonic storm last night moved north northeastward and weakened into a severe cyclonic storm. The railways will soon have 86 oxygen plants for its hospitals across the country. Four oxygen plants are already functional. 52 have been sanctioned and 30 are under various stages of processing. In the last few days, the number of beds for COVID treatment have been increased from 2,539 to 6,972. The number of invasive ventilators has also been increased from 62 to 296. The ICU beds and COVID hospitals have been increased from 273 to 573. Constant efforts are being made to add critical medical equipment like BiPAP machines, oxygen concentrators, oxygen cylinders, etc. in railway hospitals. General managers have been delegated for the powers up to 2 crores in each case of sanctioning for oxygen generation plants. Oxygen expresses are also being moved swiftly to different parts of the country. 
Assam Chief Minister Dr. Himanta Bishwa Sharma today visited Tejpur Medical College and Hospital TMCH and took stock of the COVID scenario in Sonitpur district with DC, SP, senior doctors and other officials. Expressing concern over 10% increase in COVID positivity rate in the district, the Chief Minister asked the district administration to intensify containment measures through micro-containment zones. The Chief Minister took stock of availability of ICU beds oxygen, medicine, etc., and directed TMCH authorities to increase number of ICU beds from its present strength of 40 to 70. He also instructed Principal TMCH to ensure service of senior doctors in the rank of Associate Professor, Assistant Professor or Registrar at night type to reduce the mortality of critically COVID patients during late night hours. Chief Minister Sarma said that he would personally make video calls at 2 a.m. every night to doctors on duty as no complacency could be allowed during these difficult times. Sabor Babe Mo Nurt Kurisu Carfew Jate Hoop strictly hoy Jono Sartor Katiro Tarbabe Bebosta Lobolemo Koram or Fatisu. Chief Minister Dr. Himanta Bishwa Sharma today visited the residence of abducted ONGC employee Ritul Hoikya at Titabar in Jurhat district and met his family members. While interacting with his parents and wife, Sharma informed that all out effort has been made to bring back Saikya safely. MPs Kamekha Prasad Tasa, Tapan Kumar Gogoi, and Pallav Lotion Das and local MLA Paskar Jyoti Borwa were present during the visit of the Chief Minister. Later, talking to media persons, Chief Minister Sharma informed that as per state government sources, Ritul Hoikya is at India-Myanmar border and in good health. He said the state government is leaving no stone unturned to ensure his safe return. Replying to a query regarding the ceasefire called by Alpha, Sir Sharma termed it a positive development, saying that several issues were involved in the dialogue process. Arunachal Pradesh Chief Minister Pema Khandu on Tuesday chaired monthly monitoring meeting e Pragati with ministers, chief secretary, and other top officials, all deputy commissioners on progress of many projects and schemes of state importance. The meeting decided to complete all the ongoing development projects within the stipulated time period. Key decisions of today's e Pragati meeting includes oxygen preparedness in all districts, efforts on for 500 oxygen beds further to be increased to 1,000 beds, additional 19 numbers of 108 ambulances to be placed at disposal of districts. Telemedicine has already started and anyone can seek medical advice from home. Construction of eight district hospitals progress reviewed for completion by 2023, among others. Mizoram Health Minister Al Lal Thangliana expressed his gratitude to Central Health Ministry and foreign nations for providing aid to Health and Family Welfare Department, Government of Mizoram. Health Minister today made his statement of gratitude that the Minister of Health and Family Welfare and the Indian Council of Medical Research have been supporting Mizoram with COVID-19 equipments and those had been utilized efficiently by all the healthcare providers in different public health facilities of the state. He also stated that the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has allocated to Mizoram state significant quantities of COVID-19 essential equipments from the foreign aids it received. Till now, Mizoram had received donations like number of oxygen concentrators, oxygen cylinders, oxygen regulator and power adapters from four countries such as Taiwan, Switzerland, Ireland and Egypt. Heartfelt gratitude on behalf of the people of Mizoram, to the government of India, and to the donation donors from abroad. 
India is witnessing a declining trend in the number of active and fresh COVID-19 cases. The Health and Family Welfare Ministry has said that a record number of over 4,22,000 patients have recovered from COVID-19 within 24 hours. The recovery rate has further improved to 85.60% in the country. So far, over 2 crore 15 lakh patients have already recovered from this infectious disease. The Health Ministry has said there are over 33 lakh 53,000 active cases in the country at present. The country has registered over 2,63,000 new COVID cases in the last 24 hours. The Health Ministry has said a total of 4,329 deaths have been reported in the country within 24 hours, taking the toll to over 2,78,000 across the country. In the COVID scenario from the northeast. Arunachal Pradesh reports 2,346 active cases, while the charged cases logged 19,675. The tally for the dead is at 85. Assam is settled with 44,942 active cases, while the cured cases logged at 2,86,463. The dead accounted for 2,271. Reporting 6,338 active cases, Manipur recorded 33,129 cured cases while the dead tallied at 592. Meghalaya reported 4,915 active cases with a case load of 18,715 cured cases. The dead accounted for 336. With a case load of 2,100 eight active cases, Mizoram logged at 6,932 discharge cases, while the death toll is 28. Nagaland reported 4,253 active cases with 13,880 release cases. The death tallied at 216. Sikkim has a case load of 2,937 active cases, 8,333 cured cases. The tally for the dead is 210. Lastly, in Tripura, active cases have touched 5,367, while the church cases logged at 36,085. The dead accounted for 445. Meghalaya Chief Minister Konrad Sangma and Deputy Chief Minister Preston Tinsong have met Meghalaya Legislative Assembly Speaker Med Balindo at his office chamber requesting that an all-party meeting be convened on the COVID situation in the state. Talking to reports after the meeting, Med Balindo said that it is important to hold a joint meeting of all parties since many aspects of the government's response need to be discussed as the problems facing the state in the second wave are different from the first. Important at this time also we should convene a joint meeting with all the, all the members of the other house. But uh, uh, do we have to maintain social distancing and all that? The Dimapur team for COVID activities led by its nodal officer Y. Kiketo Sema along with Commissioner of Police Dimapur Rotihu Tetsio IPS, ADC Dimapur Atoke Ai and Deputy CMO Dimapur Antali visited COVID care center at New Disease Complex Chumo Kedima on Monday. On learning about the plight of the 33 COVID positive occupants who were mostly poor migrant laborers including Naga people who do not have facilities for home isolation and helpers helping Naga families, Sema appealed to the charges, NGOs and various organizations to bear their food expenses for some time, if not for the whole time. At Newland, the team met and interacted with the ADC Newland and health workers. In sports news, in tennis, despite the hard-fought three-set victory over arch rival Novak Djokovic of Serbia in the Italian Open final, Sepnio Rafael Nadal continues to be at third spot on the ATP rankings released today. Djokovic is way ahead of the pack with 11,063 points. Russian Daniel Medvedev continues to be ranked number two in the world with 9,793 points, just 163 points ahead of Nadal, who would be aiming for a record 21st Grand Slam title and a French Open starting on May 24. To end the news, main points once again. The 
Kian Modi asserts aggressive testing, containment zones, dissemination of correct information to public key weapons in fight against COVID-19. Home Minister Amit Shah speaks to CMs of cyclone-affected states, relief measures in full swing. Assam CM Himanta Bishwa Sharma visits DMCH, reviews COVID situation in Sonipur. Arunachal Chief Minister Pema Khandu reviews projects implementation in Arunachal E Pragati meeting. And Mizoram Government Lord Centre over supports to tackle COVID 19 situation. And that brings us to the end of this evening's bulletin. Thank you for tuning in. Namaskar.